it's interesting when we're talking about this stuff, we're, all, we're talking about ourselves, right? There are a lot of ways that we have the power to make some little shifts. And little tiny shifts can have a huge impact. But the reality is we are also surrounded by other people. Those darn other people all the time. So I want to share with you now an analogy that brings a little bit of some of the stuff we just talked about into the mix, but starts to bring these other people in and how to manage those people in an incredibly effective way in your life. I call this analogy, get off my bus. And here it is. Every one of us when we're born is a bus driver. And we have a bus that we drive through our lives. Now, as we drive this bus through our lives, people are constantly getting on and constantly getting off our bus. Some come on for a moment and go away. Some come on for a lifetime. Some are there and they're on or off, or they might move to the front of the bus, the back of the bus. They move, but they're there. But it points in our lives where we are feeling less than and need to re-empower ourselves. There are five questions you can quickly ask and answer about your bus to get back to where you need to be to just own it. Question number one, who is driving your bus? Take a look at that driver's seat. Are you still sitting there? Or did you get up and let somebody else sit down? Question number two. If we went outside right here, if we went on to 9th Street and we looked at an RTA bus, what's across the top? Destination. Question two is where are you going? What are you trying to accomplish? And that doesn't have to mean a year from now or 10 years from now or an ultimate final destination. Th today, this week, this month, this year, what is it you're trying to do? The challenge is, if we don't have that direction in mind, we get to a stop sign in life and what happens? We sit, we get stuck. Because then we start questioning, well, I could sit here, or I could go forward. I could turn left, I could turn right, I could turn around and go backwards, I guess. And we get stuck. How do you put your foot back on the gas and go somewhere? What are you trying to accomplish? Question number three is, because those first two questions are about you, question number three has you turn around, look at your passengers. Question number three is, who needs to get off of your bus? Now, when I said that, how many of you had a name and face come to mind? Okay, if they're sitting next to you, just play it cool, really. <laughs> if you don't know, when your phone rings and you look at the caller ID and go, oh, cannot do that right now. <laughs> That's one of those people. Now, that doesn't mean you have to kick someone off your bus. You know what? Sometimes they feel like they're in that first seat right behind you with the hand on the wheel because you're focused on them, right? A phone call happens, you get upset about it. Lunchtime, someone says, how's your day going? You go, oh my goodness, do you know what he said this morning? And you relive it. You get home. How'd your day go? Oh my goodness, do you know what happened 12 hours ago? And we relive these moments. We relive them. Who needs to get off your bus? Begin pulling your focus off of those people, and they will naturally begin to drift back. Question number four, who do you need on your bus? Who needs to get on your bus? When you start to get clarity on what it is you're trying to accomplish, who needs you and who do you need? Go find those people. How many of you have met someone here today that you're going to connect with after this event? There are reasons for that. People come into your life for a reason. Trust it. Find out why. And the and final question is, whose bus do you need to get off of? Just because someone's putting on a drama doesn't mean you need to buy a ticket. 
There are people, there are situations, there are events, there are organizations that we may have been involved with for a long time, and it might have made sense at some point. If it does not make sense anymore for you, if you can no longer add value to it, or it can no longer add value to you, it's time to step off that bus. Because you cannot go where you're going until you leave where you've been.